got passed on that last lap, and that changed the face of that overall as well. And I told you, that's how tight things were, and that's how jumbled up it was. So here's the way they score. Luhovi, Groves, Viney, Lights one four, Trey Fagard in fifth, Johnny Murphy in sixth, Jacob Glenn in seventh, Eddie Norrit in eighth, and ninth is James Richard. And in tenth place, Blake Hazen. Overall, Vincent Luhovi will take the win with a 2-1, so he gets the gold. The 15 of Cody Groves, a 3-2, will score silver in second overall. And the 53 of Bajorn Viney, a fifth and a third, will yield him the bronze with a uh, sc overall score of eight. So uh, it's uh, Luhovi, Groves, and Viney, your top three there in the College Boys 16-24. to 24. Race 14 now on the track. It's the 85, 9 to 13 year old class and some big players in this one again. Logan Best, that number 206. He's out of Northport, Florida. One of the big triangle Yamaha Blue Crew riders. I think he was one of the riders that won one of the first championships on the uh, Yamaha 65 a couple of years ago. But here he is in the 85, 9 to 13 class. Leading the way with a Moto 1 win. Drew Adams, the 300, took a second place position in his division. Also Nathan Abbott, the 334 out of Thousand Oaks, California on the Fox Racing Husqvarna, took a second in his division of racing. Adler Cottles, another Moto 1 winner. Uh, he's the 86 from Moore, Oklahoma on a 7 asterisk. 180 decalers and power bands racing backed KTM ride. So we check in with our leaders now at the point. It is the number 53 machine, and that rider is Augustin Baranici, who finished 10th in moto number one. So Baranici, we're looking at a situation kind of like the college boy where everything's all jumbled up, at least on this first lap of racing. We'll see as the green flag flies on this one at the conclusion of lap number one, how it all sorts out, where our key players are and what things are starting to look like. Baranici out front, it's Nate Freehill in the number two spot. Freehill actually looking at an eighth in Moto One and a second to open up here in Moto Two. Colin Allen, the 135, running in a third place position, took third in Moto One. And if nothing would change right now, a 3-3 would yield the championship for the 135, but it's still early in the race. Christian Merman, the 19 in fourth, 334, Nathan Abbott in fifth, Adler Conway, Moto winner in sixth place aboard the 86. Diesel Thomas, the 52 in seventh, Drew Adams, another top finisher, finishing second in his division race. He's running in eighth place back there on that Kawasaki. Luke Fowler, the 462 machine, another key player. Normally, he finished sixth in that first moto. He is currently running in the number nine spot, Kate Johnson, the 177, rounds out the top 10. Then it's the 206 of Logan Best, a Moto One winner in 11th place. Sebastian Ray seeing the 112, he's 12. The 43, Thomas Wood, 13th. Nate Jeffrey was running 15th. Kyler Rahm in six, uh, 15th. And Noah Viney in 16th. Landon Peppard, 17th. Ryder Thompson, 18th. Alvin Hillen in 19th. Jace Coy rounding out the top 20 there. As they sort this out up front, we'll see how things begin to change. but. Looking down through the roster, Logan Best, as we said, 11th place right now. Moto winner. We'll see if he can uh, reel some guys in. Let's head on down to the podium right now where we celebrate with Wes Kane. Thank you now, Rodney. Come here, Born Viney. Come over here. We're going to talk to you. You got the medal. That don't mean you run off. We got to talk to you and find out what's happening. How's that race for you? It was good. Um, I'm super pumped that I, f I got a good moto in this week. Um, Pro Circuit's been helping me so much this week with uh, getting my 450 dialed. Um, I was having such a hard time riding it earlier this week, but that moto is really good, so got some good results. Who do you want to thank? I'd like to thank Pro Circuit for sure. The, all the love goes out to them this week. Um, they like revalved my forks and everything um, in between motos. And uh, I would like to thank my dad, my mom, my grandma, and my grandpa. Um, 60 helmets for always keeping me safe. And Alpine star Kenny. At Alpine Star, hooked me up with a new pair of boots this week, so I'm pumped. Um, 7MX, Roger Larson for uh, all the seven gear. Love the way I look now, and uh, yeah, overall, I'm just super pumped on this week. Congratulations out there. Thank you. All right, Born Bonnie, good job out there. Second place. Let's talk to my second place competitor, Cody Groves. Where you at, Cody? Silver medal, you got to be pumped. Tell us all about it. Uh, I got a, a not very good start, but I worked my way up through the pack. Uh, I was probably, I got in the second and third lap. And then uh, 
Vinny was a little bit ahead of me. I, I just I crashed this morning, so I, I decided just I just cool down and, and ride smart and salvage a second. It was nice. What do you want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank my mom and dad, Suzuki, South of the Border, uh, JV Films, uh, PR2 set my bike up on practice day, and that bike was handling so good with that 450. Um, I'd like to thank Real Link, uh, Graphics, uh, Motor X, uh, Sunstar, Gibson Tires, and, um, anyone else, and Matt Michelia, too. Thank you. Congratulations out there. Give it up, guys. Finish the second, Cody Groves. All right. We got the champ, Vincent LaHovey. Great job out there. Come in with that number one play. Let's give it to the man right there, the fourth and 37 ride, Mike Burkeen. Hold it up, Vincent LaHovey. All right. Tell us about that race. It was wild. Um, I, I didn't get the best start. I was really trying to get a start, but I made a couple quick passes and uh, Got out front for once. I felt really good out front and uh, just tried to ride my own race, stay smooth. And I know those guys were flying behind me, but just tried to put it all together and it pulled through. It was a crazy week, to say the least. Who do you want to thank? Um, I like to thank my whole family. Uh, God for keeping me safe. Uh, Jeff, NPR, uh, suspension, race tech, suspension's always on point. Uh, Department of Power, True Max gear, goggles. Um, uh, Hill V Motorsports. Uh, anyone else? Uh, anyone else? I forgot. Thank you very much. All right, congratulations, your champ, Vincent Lahubby. All right, take it away up there, guys, up in the skybox. All righty, thanks a lot. Lots of changes since last time we checked in. Colin Allen moving out to the front of the pack in this one. That uh, third, actually, he was holding on to that first place position as he was. Uh, Three and one, the finishing third in Moto One is now up to the number one spot. Logan Best, a one and four right now, and uh, Adler Cottle looking at one and five. So here's the way the top ten are breaking down. Then we'll look at the overall. Colin Allen, Augustin Barinici in the number two spot. He's the uh, 53, the 416, Nate Freehill in third. Logan Best, the 206 in fourth. Adler Cottle, the 86 in fifth. Christian Merman in sixth, Nathan Abbott in seventh. It is the 300 of Drew Adams in eighth, and ninth is Diesel Thomas aboard the number 52, and Thomas Wood, the 43, rounds out the top 10. Now, here's the way we're looking at things. Moto One winners, Logan Best and Adler Cottle, who both won in their uh, division races. Best is looking at fourth place right now on the racetrack. Cottle is currently in a fifth place position or at last check. Nathan Abbott, who took a second, and Drew Adams, who also took a second. Abbott is in seventh place. Adams in eighth place as they headed into lap number four. In the third place position finishes for moto number one, as far as who we would expect to see our players up front. Colin Allen, third place. He is currently leading the overall with a first place position in this final moto, heading into the last lap of racing. And the other third place position finisher in this uh, first moto, I don't see. So he may have not made the uh, second moto. So whatever the case may be here, it is a 3-1 looking at into this last lap for Colin Allen. Logan Best, a 1-3 would score him second overall. But if Logan Best can bridge this gap of about three seconds between he and the 53 of Austin Augustin Baranici, we will see Logan Best take the uh, overall win with a one and two. So right now, Colin Allen is at the mercy of that second place ride, the 53 machine of Augustin Baranici. Logan Best trying to work around. Now he is turning a little bit faster lap, but only by about 1.2 seconds. If I can read this right, we were looking at a three second deficit, but that gap is starting to close quite a bit as we drop down onto the Gators tail as we run with the um, Yamaha riders out here with us. I believe that's your leader, 135. Augustin Baranici is not far behind him in the number two spot, if that's what I'm seeing out here on this racetrack right now. But again, it's Logan Best, and he is trying to bridge that gap. You see him top of the bottle right there. Don't look like he's going to have enough time to close in to challenge for the number two spot. So this one will likely stand the way it is. And like we said, Colin Allen at the mercy of Baranici in that second place position. He's got to stay between he and Logan Best to keep Allen in that number one position. Down into the Gator Pit one final time. You see 
Still trying to push hard and closing in, but still too little too late for Logan Best as Colin Allen takes the checkers. Rolling through the stripe at second, the 53 of Austin Baranici. And third place will go to Logan Best here in the moto. As far as the overall goes, the score will go Colin Allen taking the overall win with a 3-1. He scores the gold for the uh, championship. Logan Best will take a 1-3 and scores second overall, Adler Cottle, a one and four as he checks in in the fourth place position aboard the number 86. First and fourth will yield him third place overall and a bronze medal for this motocross championship in the 85, nine to 13 in race 14. He'll be heading down to see Miss Lily Corey, who is Miss Minios and also